I would argue that this current generation of uh, beginning students of architecture have the capacity to reshape a world like we've never seen before. And, it, and they need to have access to as much technology and as much discourse, meaningful discourse surrounding these techniques and these tools so that they're fully prepared to go out into the world in the future to do something positive and productive. Uh, certainly, first and foremost, it would be a student who's open-minded, uh, two, that they would be willing to take that risk, three, that they, that they recognize that uh, their voice does matter, and the kind of journey that they're engaged in requires an enormous amount of effort and continuous reassessment and patience. Uh, something I always, it's a, it may be a strange thing to, to say, but I, I tell my students that it's important to fail on a continuous basis. And I'm not talking about the grade. I mean, it's in the spirit of risk that you have to be willing to free yourself, right, from, again, a set of preconceptions in order to get to this new place. And um, if failing constitutes making mistakes in order to learn from these mistakes, then you have achieved an, an enormous amount in that. I mean, we, in fact, you're only able to move forward because of this newfound knowledge. All right. The educational experience, uh, uh, it may begin with the construction of a syllabus, uh, and, and that syllabus is part of a larger matrix of exercises, as I mentioned, that, that phase through the five years. But the truth is, alongside those exercises, is, is a culture, is a community of individuals the, the, I've always remind my students and the students within the school that some of the most important educational experiences that they're going to receive during the time they're here are discussions that take place in the middle of the night with their classmates. I mean, uh, they have made an incredible sacrifice uh, to move away from home, in, in, in many cases to find themselves moving beyond earlier friendships and relationships they had in their, in their high school years, uh, precisely because they're, they're now engaged and, Im and immersed within a kind of culture of discourse and creative uh, production that is all-consuming. I think, I think thesis uh, is invaluable. I mean, they're, you know, unlike many other um, pedagogical templates which guarantee a kind of success, again, those that are, that, that are constructed around the single educator. In this particular case, it's not that I'm not interested in the product. I certainly am. I want them all to try their best to be able to produce a remarkable project that is, that is well conceived and, and thoughtfully represented. Uh, but I actually think that the journey of a thesis is invaluable, and it's, it's, um, it prepares them for the world at large, because when they get out there, they're going to be dealing with a whole series of forces that are going to resist their poetic imagination, that are going to try to um, compromise their creative will, that are, that are going to try to kind of foreground economics as the kind of sole criteria to make uh, architecture, and that's unfortunate. These students are going to have to be tough. They're going to have to be relentless. They're going to have to be strong and curious and engage on a continuous basis. And I think thesis is intended to prepare them for that moment in their life.